you need to trust in the Lord every single day, every single second, every single hour. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, go with me to Psalms chapter 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. If you put confidence in men in the world, where is it going to get you? It's going to get you nowhere. Am I right? Is the word of God right? Come on. Somebody's got to receive this message today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Trust in the Lord. Amen. It is better to trust in the Lord with your life, with everything with all of your prayers amen with all of your thoughts with your sayings with everything that is with inside of you and, and and don't put the confidence that well men can do this and men might be able to do this and men might be able to save this and and might be able to not save and put your trust in the lord that's exactly what the lord is saying and saying hey stop for a minute stop why don't you put your confidence in me why don't you put your trust in me why don't do you not have that faith and that trust it is that you have in me or you just got the confidence in men alone huh think about that look at the world today where's it gotten us they're putting confidence in men of the world today when they should be putting trust in the lord god almighty amen hallelujah on that note let's move on real quick proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 trust in the lord with all the heart and lean not into the own understanding church are you not trusting in the lord with all of your heart with i mean what I mean, all of your heart, I, I, I'm talking about everything that, that, that is inside of you. I'm talking about the inner core. Come on. The whole heart, church. Are you trusting him fully within your heart and your spirit? Amen. And you're not leaning into what? But your own understanding. No, you're trusting in the Lord with everything um, that is deep down inside of you. You're fully giving it to him and you're trusting in him with your complete heart. Amen. And, and you're not leaning onto your thoughts of your understanding of what this could be. And, and is this problem solved? Is this problem not solved? But you're trusting in the Lord with all of your heart. And, and, and it's not your own understanding, church. Amen. Trust in the Lord in these last days. He is able to be there and to strengthen you and to help you overcome these things. You need peace binded in the Lord because men can give you peace like the Lord can. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, the Lord is with you. He is your inner strength. He is the one that is going to help you through all of the things in this world. Don't you understand? You can't have confidence in men as we just stated in Psalm chapter uh, 118 verse uh, 118 verse 8 King James version but you got to trust in God alone that means we got to fully trust in God because when all the things that that, that that is happening around the world today and if we're trusting in men or of our own understanding we're not fully committed to the Lord. We're not trusting in him that he can have us. You know, that he's got our bags. He's got every inch. All we've got to do is be obedient and obey the Lord and do his will and not our will. Amen. The power of the Lord is here today. Church, I'm telling you what it is time to serve God and trust him with all of your heart. He is going to strengthen you the times of your trials. Oh, someone died. The Lord is there. You've got a comforter in the name of Jesus. Amen. He's going to strengthen you. You've got an addiction, huh? a pornography. Oh, it is gone right now. You've got to trust in the Lord that he's going to pull that stronghold. Amen. That is no more there. 
that, that the blood had just killed them. Change has been set free in the name of Jesus. Claim it. Receive it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Give it into Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. You go in before the Lord, before the throne of God. You go, you give it to him, and you trust you've given it to him. Fully surrender mm -hmm. everything into him and trust he's got you. Don't put up confidence in men or your own understanding or of this world, but trust in God that he is listening to your prayer, that he is your strength. Amen. That he is your guidance, that he is there for you. And he is going to help you with everything. You just got to know and believe and not doubt in your heart. Amen. Fully trust in the Lord with all the heart. Praise God. I'm blessed. I have a mighty God. I serve. Hallelujah. Because, see, I trust in the Lord with all of my heart. Through all of my trials, you are able to do the same, and you are doing the same. Some of you are stepping away from your post. Get back to your post and do the business of the Lord. Trust he has you, and that he is going to guide you, that he is going to strengthen you on your journey of your walk. In the name of Jesus, receive that message right now. In the name of Jesus, get off the couch and trust in the lord that you can walk in the name of jesus trust in the lord that you can walk in the name of jesus do you believe that jesus by his stripes by that you're able to walk again that you, you are healed do you trust in that then get up and walk in jesus name amen today is the day for you, brothers and sisters in Christ, to trust in the Lord fully with all of your heart and your inner core, with all of your spirit, amen, with everything you have. Don't trust in your understanding because if we trust in our understandings, that that's going to get us out of the word of God. That, that, that that's going to get us to, uh, oh, well, I think I should do this. And, and I think that this is right. No, 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 no. You'll be getting out of the way. But when you're actually following the Lord and trusting in his words and his, and he is there, the Holy Spirit is able to guide you. You've got discernment. He's going to have you. He's going to be there. And, and if you fall just a little bit, trust he's going to build you up. That he is going to make it greater than what it was. You just got to trust and have that faith in it. In the name of Jesus, receive that message today. Because there's some of you that, that, that's going through so many trials around the world that, that, that I've been hearing. And, and trust me, I've been crying out to the Lord for you. And, and he knows it. And he, he is a moving in them situations. Praise God, that trust in the Lord. Don't never, ever without a doubt, let it go. Let it stay right there that you will fully trust in him with every ounce it is that you have. That you're going to stick with the Lord God Almighty forevermore. Amen. Because we honestly are living in the days of the end and who are you going to trust are you going to trust the world no are you going to trust men of the world no you're not if a man for example i would die for you okay let's just let's just demonstrate i would die for you to save your life Okay, let's just say that time came for this person over here, this man. And this friend got just right here. Oh, he's fixing to go off the cliff. I need to go get him. Yeah, and blah, 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 whatever it may be. And then some reason he just said, no, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to. I'm going to back out. Okay, so then you don't put confidence in man. But see, Jesus died for all of us. Amen. That is power of jesus that is unconditional love it is that jesus has for us the messiah that man doesn't have for us yes mine 
man can can love us unconditionally don't get me wrong but it's a different kind of a love is what i mean that not men will not die for another always is what i'm trying to say thank you lord and, and that's very important jesus died for all of us for everybody that we trust in that that we are able to be reborn again that we trust that we are reborn again and baptized in water and the holy spirit we believe in the name of jesus christ we believe in god the father am i right amen we trust in it we believe it it is my faith it is that i believe in the name of jesus christ and i will stand firm within my faith to all of my days amen you need to trust and have that kind of faith in the name of the lord jesus christ today you're gonna need it because see we're facing to go to the tribulation period once we go through the seven year tribulation who are you going to trust men of the world things of the world are you going to trust the lord to help you to overcome this tribulation that's already already overcome in the name of jesus amen so i say this to you before i end this broadcast today trust in the lord with everything that is inside of you and don't go on your understanding because that's going to get you nowhere amen and, and, and don't have confidence in men because that's going to get you nowhere either you might beg the differ but there's no begging the differ because there is no confidence in men but there is what confidence in god you know that, that, that he can do these things and he's going to be there and you trust that he's going to be there and do these things for you that you know when you're going through this tribulation and when you're being you know people's coming after you and then attacking you and coming against you because of righteousness say because of jesus christ but what's going to happen you're going to trust in the lord god almighty amen that he is going to be there to help you that you can't Go on your understanding that well what should i do here this could be wrong this could be right but god knows trust in him listen to the holy spirit to guide you amen don't trust in men don't don't go on your understanding trust in the lord with all of your heart fully fruitfully the lord is always going to be there for you every step of the way that i can guarantee and promise you the Lord is always right there beside of you through any kinds of troubles it is that you're having today in the name of Jesus by all means go before the Father today and just give it into him and he's going to listen he's going to be there trust it is all already taken care of in his name amen praise God for those that need salvation, Lord God, that come to you this day, I just ask you, Lord God, that they seek you before it is too late around the world, that they fully seek you, Lord God. They turn into the truth of the ways, Lord God, and turn away from all the falseness, oh Lord God, of the craziness of, of the world, that they just seek after you. Help them, Lord, to stay in your word within the truth and to trust you more than what they do, Lord God. Just continue to be with them, Lord God. When they call upon you, oh, Lord God, I believe that you're listening, Lord God. Ha! Believe it. I have that faith in you, Lord God. You are my God. And I give you praise and glorify your name, Lord God, because I believe that it is all done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That these precious souls the church lord god the brothers and sisters around the world lord god that the strength is of you lord god that they will trust you more lord god than what they are in the name of jesus we pray in jesus mighty name hallelujah jesus in jesus name amen praise god have a great and a blessed day in jesus mighty name Tell someone today about the love of Jesus Christ because the day of the Lord honestly is at hand, folks. Amen.